four where all the owls ran into a red hot St. Francis Borgia team last night and lost 102 to 69. The kids really had their heads down and it was a tough way to come in here on your final four the first time the school's been here in over 40 years and get beat the way it did. That game, Nathan Phillips scored 40 points for the Knights in that ball game and it was a performance to remember. The Owls are going to try and suck it up and get one more game out of this season and come out of here with a third place. And win or lose, there's no disgrace. Getting here is such a chore. It's such a long basketball season. We have been going now for close to four months for, on this season. And we started way back uh, early in November, or mid-November rather, with a game over at Glasgow between Northwestern and Glasgow. And here it is, well, March 20th. And one last basketball on this season, and the Owls will play it here this evening. This Hawaii's ball club, they won the North Central Missouri Conference. Their only loss in the conference was to the Marshall Owls this season. And then we mentioned the score of that, 75-74. And Marshall on the season, of course, the only team to beat Elias. Elias went through the conference uh, rather easily besides the Owls game. They were 6-1 and one in the conference. The Owls finished 5-2, and two, tied with Mexico and Hannibal in the conference race. Athletics are sponsored by our high schools because they teach important lessons to our young people. High school athletes, be they boys or girls, are taught to respect others, their teammates, opponents, coaches, and officials. Whether their games are being won or lost, athletes also learn self-control and appreciate athletic values for their participation in high school sports. There's only a few of the lifelong lessons our young people learn from high school athletics. This message is brought to you by the MSHSAA and the sports leader of Missouri, KMMO. Their home red uniforms and Hawaii's wear their road blue with the white numerals, white letters, and the owls with the black numerals and white letters. We're going to take a break and then be right back to the start of this one. You listen to your sports leader of Missouri, KMMO. <laughs> performer for the Owls in the middle of 6-2, a senior, and then also in the forecourt, sophomore Leandra Davis, and senior at 6-1, Brad Ewart, Leandra Davis also 6-1. So Abney last night broke Scott Hartwich's all-time scoring record at Marshall High School. He needed just four points, he got ten, but all those were in the first half. The Owls were already at midcourt, they've already broke their huddle and they're ready to go. 
game. We'll give you a little rundown of some of the other games that have gone on here. We can tell you quickly that St. Joe Academy girls have won the 4A girls title. The 3A girls third place game was won by Incarnate Word. And the 4A boys, Jeff City Jays, won their first ever 4A basketball title. And DeSoto was a third place winner in 4A over Raytown South out of Kansas City. Piper on the tip gets it easily off to DeMille Davis. Davis lobbing the paint to Harper. Telly goes in, lays it up good. Harper had a strong game last night and otherwise losing effort for the Owls. Up the middle, here's a steal by Abney off to DeMille Davis. Davis goes down, stops in the lane, back out to Ewart. Ewart into the corner to Telly Harper. Harper against Pope. Out high to Abney. Owls aren't spacing real well on the offense right now. Harper's going to shoot a three and nails it over Pope. Joe Pope at 6'8", and Harper just skied over the big junior. In the backcourt, Eaton has it. Almost lost it. Now directs Ralston to the forecourt. Otherwise, it'd be an over and back. The Owls are really trapping on the defense out high. Marshall was very disappointed with the defensive play in last night's game. There's Ralston going to the hole and a whistle. And a foul going to be called against Brad Ewart. And it will be a takeout situation. They're lining up for free throws. No, they're going to give Ralston two free throws. The first time these two teams met, Ralston pumped in five three-pointers and had 21 points in the game. Amick had 19, Eaton had 21. Abney, the first time these two teams met, was unconscious. Joe had eight three-pointers and 31 points in the game. Harper had 11, Leandra Davis 17. So a lot of threes in that ball game. Next one is good by Ralston. He gets one of two. And Jeff City Helias is down 5-1. Here's Adney dribbled the ball off his knee right in front of the officials table, the media table, down to our right and out of bounds. Well, the Owls turn the ball over. Both teams have an early turnover, and Eaton has the ball in the backcourt. Eaton at 6-9 is a great press breaker, able to get the ball to him in the middle, and he can throw over the press. Here's Ralston in the corner, lobbing the paint to Eaton. Around New York goes baseline off the Pope. Pope goes inside of Harper, but he walked. Pope tried to drive on Harper and walk with it. And Ewart will inbound to DeMille Davis. The Owls are not facing the defensive pressure in the backcourt they faced last night. Here's Harper off to Leandra Davis. Davis with the basketball, shoots a three over Ralston and hits. Well, the Owls are starting just like last night. Red hot at the outset. Let's see if they can sustain it. It's 8-1. Here's Ralston back in the corner. Off to Blanton. He throws up a three-pointer and nails it. Eddie Blanton didn't shoot much. As a matter of fact, he only took one shot in the Owl game against Elias about a month ago at Jeff City. And nails his first chance here. Here's Abney out high against Amick. Abney off to Leandra Davis. The Owls have flooded the left side. Here's Harper. Down low to Ewart. He goes up, laid up no good. Rebound is tapped out to DeMille Davis. Davis among the trees in the lane. Good. Davis with a little... Hanger in the lane from eight feet. He has really perfected that shot. Here's Amick to the full court. Double team in the corner. Almost a steal off to Blanton. Blanton into the foul line area. Now backs it off to Amick beyond the arc. Amick with it. Left hand dribble goes baseline left on Harper. Lob inside to Pope. Kick back pass to Blanton for a three. Good. Eddie Blanton's hit two threes in a row. That comes Abney. It's a 10 7 game. Abney. Off to DeMille Davis, into the paint, down low to Harper. Kelly throws it up, they're going to say he walked. The Owls turn the ball over. 5.27 left to play in this first quarter, and the Owls lead 10-7. Here's Blanton against the Owl press, quickly to the forecourt. Blanton goes baseline against Ewart, kicks it out to Wilson for a three, that's no good. Rebound, Harper skies for it and gets it. Kelly had 14 boards last night. He averages about a dozen a game. Here's Abney. Abney, three-point line against Amick. Off in the right corner to Leandra Davis. Davis to DeMille. Davis against Blanton. Around a Harper screen. Off to Abney. Joe against Ralston. Into the paint. Throws it up. Right hand. Gets the roll. You know, Joe Abney really wants to finish strong after a tough second half and a tough game last night. Here's Ralston going to the hole. Missed it. Rebound. Pope. And a foul going to be called against Ewart, I believe. Pope kind of came down a little awkward with it and then put it back up and got it to go. And 
Got the foul to boot. And Brad Ewart is in some early foul trouble for Marshall. And with those big bodies of Elias inside, Eaton and Pope, the Owls are going to need Brad Ewart down low, and he'll come out of the game to get a rest. And Grant Fitzgerald, who's played some good minutes for the Owls off the bench in the last month or so, will come into the ball game. Brant played last night for a bit, did not score, or did score, I think, in the ball game, two points. There's a free throw by Pope, no good, and a whistle. And I believe one of the Owls got in the lane a little bit too early. The official was waiting to see if the ball was going to go down before calling the violation. Free throw coming up for Pope. This time, he, well, he missed it again. Rebound batted around, and Fitzgerald comes out with it. Back come the Owls. Adney in a hurry to Leandra Davis. Shoots a three out of the corner over Pope. No good. Rebound to Neil Davis. Davis way out high with it between the legs against Blanton. Off to Adney. Adney against Chris Amick. Here's Leandra Davis out high. Two to Neil Davis against Blanton. Davis with the basketball, pounds the ball into the floor with the right hand. Now goes into the paint, shoots a leaner, no good. Rebound down low, batted around. Blanton comes up with a loose ball for Halias. Into the backcourt with it is Amick. Amick weaves his way to the forecourt, cross hands on the dribble. Into the foul line area, now back outside to Ralston. Baseline right against Leandra Davis. Back out to Amick. Amick, corner right, looking inside, nothing doing. Now he gets it back out to Blanton, and Halias will reset the offense. Inside of four minutes left to play, first quarter in his third place 3A game. Here's Eaton back out the Pope top of the circle. They angle right side with the pass to Blanton. Blanton top side to Ralston to the foul line. Off to Eaton. Shoots a three. That's off the mark. Rebound by Pope and had the ball slapped away by the Mill Davis who picks up the foul. Pope brought the ball down and Davis was trying to strip it away. And the Mill picks up the foul. It's not really a bad foul because Elias is going to have to inbound instead of Pope having an easy stick back. And now we got a Waddell Harris going to check in just for the Crusaders are able to get it in. Leandra Davis will sit down. Waddell Harris, 5'10", junior for the Owls, had two points last night. Ralston, a three-pointer out of the corner, in and out, no good. Rebound, Eaton had it, gets it back, puts it up and in. Eaton gets his first two of the night. He averages 15. Here's Abney for the Owls. Corner right, double team. Two to Mill Davis. Spots up for a three and drains it. Davis was left all alone. He had time to set his feet and get a good look and nail the tray. The Owls have had three three-pointers here in the first quarter. They lead by four. Here's Amick over the timeline. Left-hand side off to Ralston with it. Over to Amick. Left corner. Down inside the lob. Stripped away by DeMille Davis. Davis for the Owls to the fourth court. Davis, four on three. Into the paint. Gets it off to Fitzgerald. Side of the lane. Jumper from 12. No good. Rebound. Piper had it. Lost it. And it will be Helias basketball. 2.57 left to go in his first quarter, and the Owls lead by four, and Aaron Copeland will come in the ball game for the Owls, and Telly Harper will get a rest. The Owls are pressing all over the backcourt. They'll pick up man-to-man. -man. Amick gets it into Eaton. Off to Amick. Amick with the basketball. Amick over the timeline against DeMille Davis. Now he's double-teamed. Off to Blanton. Blanton into the paint. Shoots from 13. Gets the roll. Eddie Blanton's been the go-to guy. He's got eight points here in this first quarter. Here's Wydell Harris slashing. Off to Davis. DeMille into the paint. Shoots over Ralston. Oh, they're going to call a traveling violation, though, before the shot against DeMille Davis. Now he's turned the ball over for the third time. Davis took a little shuffle with the step. And it will be Amick inbounding. Joe Abney will come out of the ball game, and Amick will get it in. Abney did not sit out a minute last night of that game with the Borgia Knights. Here's Amick over the timeline. Amick, right corner to Ralston. Ralston lob inside for Pope. Good defense by Copeland, and a steal by Davis. Davis, the wide out Harris. Harris drives down, headed, deflected away. Gets it back, goes in the lane, off to Fitzgerald, 12 feet jumper, no good. Rebound by Eaton. Eaton off to Amick. Elias can tie it or take the lead on this position. Amick back for Elias. Holds it high off the Eaton top of the circle. He drives, now kills a dribble. Off to Blanton. Blanton fires it inside for Ralston, put it up good. 
Ralston coaching up on Wydell Harris, tied at the goal, and we're tied at 15. And back comes DeMille Davis. Over the line, off to Fitzgerald. In the corner, Harris. Harris with it, off to Leandra Davis. Davis in the corner, top of the circle, DeMille Davis on Amick. He shoots a long three, it's no good. Rebound, batted for, and I think it's gonna be out on Elias. It will be, and the Owls will get it back. I think Ralston touched the pass. Here comes Abney and Telly Harper in the ball game. Copeland and Harris will come out. And Abney will trigger it in for the Owls. A minute 34 remain in the quarter. Abney, long outlet pass to DeMille Davis, way out high between the two circles. Davis with the basketball. Off to Leandra Davis, corner left against Ralston. To Abney, he's open around a screen, missed it. Rebound by Pope. Pope gets it off to Amick, and Helias can take the lead here. A minute 20 left the play in the quarter. Amick over the line on the right, right hand dribble against Abney. Kills a dribble right in front of the out bench. Off to Blanton. Blanton against Daniel Davis, and a foul going to be called on Davis against Blanton, about 40 feet away from the bucket. And that's going to be his second. Here comes Jason Brock into the game, and the Owls will have Daniel Davis go out. Chad Lowney is now in the ball game for Elias. Senior guard, 6'1", and coming out of the ball game will be Joe Pope. So, Coach Bill Blanton going a little bit smaller lineup, a little quicker lineup. Jason Brock for the Owls. Has to go back over to the scorer's table. We're tied at 15, a minute eight left to play in this first quarter. You have to look at these two teams and figure that it's you know, you come in here hoping to have a state title or at least play for one, then you find yourself playing for third place, but you got to go out and do it and try and give it your best shot. Both these teams at this point look pretty much into it. Here's Harper on a rebound off a miss to Leandra Davis. Leandra puts it up, no good. Rebound by Eaton. Eaton back, leads the break to Lonnie. Oh, beautiful pass to Amick who lays it up and in. I didn't think Lonnie was going to get to it. Not only did he get to it, but he was also able to hit the hit the uh, trailer Amick for the easy layup. Abney misses a three. Here's Blanton shooting a three over Abney. Yeah. Well, the Owls are getting beaten at their own game by Elias here. It's a 20 to 15 game. Elias with the lead. Here's Abney in the paint. Abney down the baseline, put it up, count the bucket, and a foul's going to be caught on Lonnie. Well, Abney wasn't going to be denied with 16 seconds up to play in the quarter. And Abney will try and make it a two-point game with still 16 seconds up to play in this first half, first quarter. Jimmy Hoffman's going to come in the game for Leandra Davis. Jeremy Bloomhorst will also check in, the Owl sophomore. I think Bloomhorst is going to check in for Abney after this foul shot. Joe's free throw, swish, and Abney will come out of the game, and Bloomhorst will come in. 20 to 18. Elias gets it into Blanton. Blanton to the forecourt behind the back. 13 seconds, 12. Here's Lonnie. Rather, that's Snodgrass in the game now. Here's Snodgrass off to Eaton. To Blanton for another three. That one's no good. Rebound by Harper. It's a tie-up. And it will be Helias' ball with two seconds left to play in the first quarter. Eddie Blant with 11 first quarter points, almost got another three-pointer. Inbounding the ball will be Lonnie. Lonnie looks to get it in, does so to Blanton for a three out of the corner. That's no good, that ends the quarter. Elias got what they wanted, an open jumper, but it didn't go down. Pretty good first quarter. Elias leads 20 to 18. We'll take a break. Be right back. You're listening to your sports leader in mid-Missouri, KMMO 2. The girls 3A final will follow this ball game in the boys 3A final. 4A games are all concluded. Jeff City Jays in their first ever 4A title. They won it this afternoon over Poplar Bluff, 60 to 56. St. Joe Academy girls, a win over Springfield Kickapoo, and William, and rather uh, Incarnate Word in the third place girls game was a winner over Borgia. 
The Soto boys won their fourth place, rather third place, for a game over Raytown South. Camille Davis for the Owls as the Owls get the first possession of this quarter. Here's Leandra Davis. Davis to the hole, goes in left hand, no good in the whistle. Foul going to be called against either Blanton or Ralston. They were both there. And Leandro will go to the line. The Owls only went to the line three times last night. Foul's going to be on Ralston. That'll be his first. Second team foul. The other foul was on the line earlier against Abney and Joe had that three-point opportunity. Davis from the line for Marshall. It's up. Good. The Owls are 4-4 four, four from the line in Columbia in this tournament, unfortunately. They only got three free throws last night, and Borgia was 18 of 23 at the line. But last night is over, and it's a new day. Davis hits them both for the Owls. That's the way you got to look at it if you're both of these teams. In the backcourt, Blanton bumped by Davis. DeMille's got to be very careful. Blanton races in the fourth court. Blanton in the corner, off to Eaton. The Owls done a pretty good job of keeping Eaton, the big all-conference player at 6'9", really out of the highest offense at this point. But Blanton's been killing him. Here's Ralston out of the corner, hits a three. Ralston, averaging 16 a game, hits a three-pointer. Here's Leandra Davis into the paint from 12, misses everything. Abney tried to save it, but Blanton comes up with it after a pass from Amick. Elias by three with seven minutes left to play in the half. Blanton off to Amick, he goes baseline, off to Ralston, another 20-footer from the side of the lane, no good. Rebound by Harper. Kelly back for the Owls, he'll dribble it up over pressure. Shoots over Eaton from the foul line and hits. What a beautiful looking jump shot he has. He just skies over people. Here's Blanton with the basketball over the timeline. Off to Amick, right in front of the out bench. Amick swings on Abney, goes baseline right, laid up, left hand, good. Good job by Amick. He's got four points. Back comes Abney against Amick. Double team. Abney looks inside. Off to DeMille Davis. Down low to Harper. Swings by Pope. Throws it up over Eaton. Good. Pope didn't have a prayer. Kelly's got nine in the ball game. Back with it is Blanton. Off to Ralston in the corner. Ralston holds it high to Eaton. Eaton shoots a foul line jumper over Ewart. It's short. Brad is able to tip it out to DeMille Davis. The Owls got a two on one. DeMille goes to the hole to Ewart. Ewart laid up right hand. Count the bucket. And they're going to call a foul on Pope and push Ewart from behind. I think Coach Bill, I thought Coach Bill Blant was going to call a timeout, but I guess not. DeMille Davis gave it up beautifully, and Ewart running the floor was able to get his first two of the night. And Ewart will try and give the Owls a two-point lead. Marshall led early, eight to one, and then Elias came roaring back. Ewart's free throw is off the mark, rebound by Eaton. And the Owl lead remains at one. Just under six minutes left to play in a half. To the three-point line is Amick with it. Amick against Abney, looks for a cutter, now goes top of the circle to Eaton. Eaton off to Blanton. Blanton out high, Owls in a man-to-man, -man. here's Amick, goes to the foul line, kills the dribble, back off to Blanton between the two circles. Blanton off to Eaton in the corner. Eaton, a bounce pass in the lane to Amick, shoots over Abney, no good. Rebound by Ewart. Off to DeMille Davis. Davis to Abney along the wing. Abney shoots a long three, drains it. Oh, they're going to call foul though before the shot on Eaton. Well, the Owls didn't really catch a break there. Eaton only his first foul. And the Owls lose the three-pointer there that Abney hit after the foul. Here's Abney, lob inside of Harper against Pope. Goes against Pope, shoots over Eaton, no good. Rebound Leandra Davis. He had the ball stripped away, though, from behind by Ralston. The Owls get it back, but good defensive play by Ralston. Otherwise, Leandra would have had an easy stick back. Here's Abney to inbound for the Owls. Does throw to Harper against Amick. Telly swings in the lane, shoots over Eaton, not this time. He got a, Eaton got a piece of it, and back comes Amick. That's Blanton with it now. Blanton against Emil Davis. High post to Pope. 
Off to Amick, five minutes left to play in the half. Owls by one, Amick will back off the dribble. Goes diagonal pass, left hand side to Blanton. Blanton in the corner to Amick, down inside Eaton, spins, kick, kick out pass to Blanton for a three, good. Now we're gonna have a foul inside on Pope. They're gonna count the bucket. And Blanton has got 14 points in this first half. Blanton gets his 14th in the game. And the Owls, when you play a team like Elias with a 6'9 and a 6'8 fella down low, and you've got your tallest player is 6'2, you have to either take away the inside game or the outside game. Elias leads at 28 And right now, the Owls have pretty much taken away the inside game of Elias, but the outside game has been phenomenal. Here's Brock, almost had the ball stolen away by Blanton. Harper, top of the circle to Leandra Davis. Davis. Off the Ewart, Ewart against Eaton, Eaton gives him plenty, plenty of room. Here's Adney against Amick, swings into the lane, off to Brock, Jason takes a three, missed everything. Rebound though, Harper, he missed the stick back. Rebound by Brock, had it taken away by Amick. But Amick had it knocked away by Leonard Davis. Adney, top of the key, a three-pointer, good! Adney buries a tray. And the Owls, after back and forth turnovers, lead 29-28. Back with the basketball is Blanton against Brock. Goes inside. Kick out pass to Amick. Brock went flying, but no call on the pick. Here's Blanton in the lane. Throw it up left hand. No good. Rebound is Harper. Off to Abney with it. Abney to the forecourt. Abney on the dribble off to Brock. Brock will drive. Goes in against Eaton. Lay it up. Offensive foul against Jason Brock. Jason went to the hole and picks up foul number one. That's five team fouls against Marshall, five on both teams. And Mark Shell will come in the ball game, a 6'4 senior. He can put a body on you. Brock will come out of the game, and Wydell Harris gonna come in for Marshall. Coach Kevin Hart substituting freely. His ball club really went, had to go through the mill last night against a very quick and very aggressive Borgia team and having to play back-to-back -back nights. Elias had a bit slower-paced game against Jennings. Jennings a more taller, physical-type team. So the Owls probably used up a little more energy last night than, than Elias did. Here's Blanton back with it for the Crusaders. Off to Amick. Amick passes up the three. They go downstairs to Shell. Ball tipped away by York. Nice play by Brad York. He was able to knock it off Shell and out of bounds in front of the Owl bench. 3.28 left to go in this first half. Those are the kind of things Brad York and Aaron Copeland for the Owls have been doing all year that you don't read about in the newspaper or hear about on our score sheets or anything else, but they're very valuable. There's Abney around a screen, shoots a three and hits. Oh, they're gonna call it a two point. Abney ducked inside Amick and in doing so, stepped on the three point line, but got it to go anyway. There's Amick back in a hurry, off to Blanton. Blanton against Demille Davis. Blanton to Eaton. Eaton goes baseline, shoots over Hewitt, missed it. Rebound, crashing the boards with Amick. And they're gonna call a foul on the Owls. That might be on Brad Yord. If it is, that's his third. Yeah, that's three on Brad. 16 fouls against Marshall. And Fitzgerald's gonna come back in the ball game, and York with two points will have to sit down probably the rest of the half. Boy, Amick came flying in from about the three-point stripe to come in and get that rebound. Here's Blanton into the baseline. Off to Lonnie, to Eaton at the foul line against Harris. That's a mismatch. Eaton, though, goes cross-court to Lonnie. Downstairs to Amick, back to Lonnie. Top of the circle, Blanton against Emil Davis. Down low to Amick, pulls his way inside. Had a shot partially blocked by Harper off the glass, and back come the Owls with it. Fitzgerald off to DeMille Davis of the forecourt. DeMille, double team, needs to get rid of it. And I thought they are going to get him for a double dribble, but instead of fouls, call. Kelly Harper telling DeMille Davis, hey man, give me the ball down inside. 2.36 remaining in this first half. Blanton picks up the foul, I believe. That's his first. So both teams are one Ball from being over the limit. Abney will get it in, does so to Harris in the corner right. 
And then Harris had the ball knocked away or tried to get it to DeMille Davis who had it knocked away. DeAndre Davis gonna check back in the ball game. I believe Wydell Harris is going to come out. House coach Kevin Hart was not especially pleased with his ball club playing the way they did last night, but he believes they'll come back and be strong tonight. That's the way they've been this year, and so far they've not been dis they've not disappointed him. 31-28, 2:20 left to play in the quarter. Here's DeMille Davis looks for a lob inside. Piper sprung open for a moment. Here's Leandro Davis out high. Elias in that zone defense. Top of side pass to DeMille Davis. Davis off to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald to Leandro Davis in the corner. Leandra off to DeMille Davis. To Abney in three-point land. Joe shoots a three over Blanton in and out no good. Rebound to DeMille Davis. Elias standing around down low and Davis, the smallest man on the court, came in and got the rebound among the trees. Here's Leandra Davis way out high. Cross court pass off to DeMille Davis. DeMille Davis to Abney. Abney fakes a three, now shoots it over Blanton, switch. Abney with 13 first half points. Back to the four court pass it was Ralston. Ralston off to Blanton with it. Owls by half a dozen, a minute and a half left to play in this first half. Lowney for a three, misses everything. Rebound, Amick down low, he couldn't get it to go. Eaton has it, off to Ralston. Ralston against Davis, top circle to Blanton for a three. That's no good. Rebound is knocked off Amick's foot by Abney, out of bounds. Boy, Elias working like the devil down low on the offensive glass. Boy, Brant Fitzgerald did a great job defending Eaton on that one offensive rebound. He just put his hand straight up, cut off the baseline, and Eaton had to get, get rid of the ball, and the Owls got the turnover. Abney with it off to Leandra Davis. A minute six left to play in the half. Elias now comes out in a zone trap. Here's Fitzgerald in the corner. Brant's in trouble. Has to get rid of it, does too to Leandra Davis. What a play by Davis to Abney. Off to Harper, Harper down low. Kelly lay it up, no good. Kelly gets his own rebound, good. Davis sprawled on the floor, was able to get it off to Abney, who got it to Kelly for the deuce. Here's Eaton in the middle, the owl lead is eight. 40 seconds up the play and a half. Here's Snodgrass back in the ball game. Top of the circle, Lowney. Lowney off to Snodgrass against Leandra Davis. High post, Eaton. Eaton gets the pass, beautiful pass to Lonnie, put it up and in over Harper. Oh, what a beautiful pass, nice high-low game. Lonnie gets his first two. Here's Abney, 20 seconds up to play in a half. Off to DeMille Davis. Davis holds the ball on his hip, now he starts the offense. DeMille into the paint, put it up right hand, no good. Rebound taken out of there by Lonnie. Lonnie lost it on the floor. Davis gets it, shoots with five seconds, no good. Rebound by Harper, he spins over Eaton, good! Set a move by Harper, and that ends the first half. And the Owls lead 38 to 30. And the Owls run off the court. And Elias is walking off the court. Marshall leads by eight. At the break, we'll take a break. Be right back. You're listening to your sports leader in mid Missouri, KMMO. University of Missouri, Columbia. I'm Scott Beach. Marshall Owls have a 38-30 lead at halftime. The Owls really came on the last three, four minutes. Kind of got a jump start. Elias took a 20-19 lead, and then the Owls really stepped it up on the defense, got some turnovers. Joe Abney got hot from the outside. Kelly Harper crashing the glass. And the Owls putting things together here in this first half. And they lead Elias, which was the North Central Missouri Conference champion this year. And at one time is ranked as high as sixth in the state. And the Owls are putting it to the Crusaders here, 38 to 30, at least at the first half break. Let's check out the first half scoring for Marshall. Joe Abney and Telly Harper both with 13 points. Joe has two threes in the first half. And Abney is especially Joe didn't score in the second half yesterday. And brother, he's really uh well, he's really stepped it up here in this ball game. He could have hung his head and said, well, you know, I've done my bit this season, but he's coming out here and, and play real well in this first half. Camille Davis with five points, including a three-pointer. Brad Ewart has two. Leandra Davis, five points with a three. And Wydell Harris, Aaron Copeland, Jason Brock, Rand Hildebrand, 
and Jimmy Hoffman all played but did not score in the opening half. The Owls three of four from the foul line, and Marshall had four turnovers in the opening half. For Elias, Eddie Blanton, Blanton did not score in the game that the Owls played Elias about a month ago in Jeff City. And the all-conference guard, well, he's trying to prove to everybody just how good maybe he is. He has 14 points, four three-pointers in the first half. He had three in the first quarter. And he has 14, the only Elias player in double figures. Jason Rawson has one three-pointer and half a dozen. Chris Amick with four. Jason Eaton, the 6'9 big man for Elias. He's been playing rather well, but really has not been involved in the offense. The Owls done a great job on him down low. He's only got four points. Mark Shell play didn't score. Joe Pope play didn't score. Chad Lonnie, two points off the bench. Scott Snodgrass played, but also did not score in the first half for the Elias Crusaders. Elias one of two from the foul line, and the Crusaders had eight turnovers in the first half. The Owls went out to an 8-1 lead early, much like the game last night when the Owls were up early 8-0. Then Elias kind of got settled in, got back in the ball game. It was a 1-2, three-point game most of the way. Then the Owls late in the first half broke things open a bit. Abney hit a three. Harper got a couple of stickbacks, and the Owls lead by eight. 38-30 at the break. Well, the Owls weren't in the dressing room very long. They're right back on the floor. But we've still got several minutes before the second half gets underway. We'll take this break. You're listening to KMO, AM and FM. Marshall, your sports leader in mid-Missouri. In this 3A third place boys game, Marshall trying to get out of here with a third place finish in 3A. It's been a great season for the Owls, great season for all these teams that are here. Marshall, of course, getting beat last night by 33, 102-69 to a great St. Francis Borgia team, which will take on Jennings in the 3A final, which will be coming up here at 9.45. The 3A girls final will be Ray Peck and Republic following this ball game. The previous games today, we can tell you that Incarnate Word in the third place girls game is a winner over Borgia. In the 4A first place game, St. Joe Academy, a winner over Springfield Kickapoo. The 4A boys first place game, Jeff City over Poplar Bluff, 60 to 56, their first ever 4A title. The 4A girls third place game was 64-57. House Springs defeated William Crispin. And it was St. Joe Academy and Springfield Kickapoo, 59-43. And that uh, girls first place game, we failed to give you the scores of those. And in the, th in the third place 4A game was DeSoto out of Raytown South, 58 to 54. Marshall leads 38 to 30, both teams back on the court. The teaching of good sportsmanship also is the teaching of poise, self-control, and respect for others. Sportsmanship isn't something that just happens, it's taught. And in Missouri, it's become a tradition where the high school coaches and athletes, these coaches and athletes should be commended for their displays of good sportsmanship, as should their fans. But sportsmanship also is a tradition with the followers of high school athletics. Showing good sportsmanship is a Missouri tradition, practiced in both the small towns and big cities. And let's keep it that way. This message is brought to you by the MSHSAA and your sports leader in mid-Missouri, KMMO. Both teams huddled up getting ready to go in this second half. Owls with 13 points for Joe Abney. Tally Harper has 13 to lead the way. Eddie Blanton leading all scores for Helias. He's got 14 in the ball game, including four three-pointers. The Owls, Brad Ewart, who will start off the second half, as will the rest of the Owls starters and the Helias starters. Ewart in foul trouble with three. Joe Pope has two for, for Elias. Demille Davis has two for the out. Amick will inbound. Elias will move from left to right in the second half, and we're underway. Elias looks to get it in. Amick does so to Eaton. Eaton, right corner in the fourth quarter, back off to Amick against Abney. Amick with the basketball, wing right side off to Ralston, around an Eaton screen, give and go inside, Eaton goes around Harper, put it up, missed it, rebound by Harper, who had it knocked away, was tripped up, but there was no call, and the rebound, rather the turnover, goes to Hawaii. Harper had to 
Almost got tripped up, didn't get tripped up. There was no call. Here's Pope down low to Amick, put it up over Abney, no good. Rebound Eaton, he missed the easy stick back. And now Eaton, or rather Amick, dribbles it on the out of bounds line. Eaton threw up a, I don't know what that was, right off the front of the rim, point. The Owls get it back. And now DeMille Davis throws it away in the fourth court. Here's Ralston, one on three, drives inside, lay it up, no good, and Newark picks up a block on the foul. That'll be his fourth. So both teams start the second half with a turnover, and this turnover leads to a fourth foul against Brad Ewart. Here comes Fitzgerald into the ball game. And the first time these two teams met, Jason Eaton was really a force in the second half. And let's see if they look for him now. Elias looks for Eaton. Now that Yord is out of the game with four personals. Fitzgerald will have his work cut out for him. Ralston's first free throw, in and out, no good. Ralston with six points in the first half. Second one on the way, switch. Ralston gets one of two. Back on the Owls. Here's Abney off to DeMille Davis. Davis off to Fitzgerald, off to Leandre Davis. Davis will shoot a three over Ralston. It's way off the mark, no good. Rebound tapped around on the whistle. And this foul's going to be on Grant Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald picks up the foul. That'll be his first. Blanton with it. Blanton for the basketball for Helias to the forecourt. Blanton off the Ralston, top of the circle, shoots a three over Eaton, no good. Rebound is knocked out of bounds by DeMille Davis. Him and Pope collided along the baseline. 6.52 left the play in this third quarter. They get the ball and bounds to Eaton to Amick against Harper. Puts it up off the glass. No good. Harper with the rebound off to Leandra Davis. Davis shoots a three over Blanton. That's no good. Rebound by Pope. Al's not showing a lot of patience. Here comes Blanton with it. Off to Amick. Amick to the forecourt. In the lane. Swings down. Had a shot blocked away by Fitzgerald. But a foul's going to be called on Telly Harper underneath. Three team fouls against Marshall. He played only a minute and a half here this third quarter. That's Harper's first. And Coach Kevin Hart of the Owls wants to call a timeout. The Owls are a little out of sync here to begin this second half. Marshall leads by seven. We'll take a timeout. Be right back. You're listening to your sports leader in mid-Missouri, Kenny Lamont. The only point of this third quarter at this point. 38-31, Marshall at 38-30 at the break. The Owls at halftime look like world beaters. They really were playing well and kind of come out in the second half a little flat, a little out of kilter, if you, as you were. And Elias will have Chris Amick going to the line to shoot a couple. Amick, the 6'3 senior, all-conference football player, all-conference basketball player. This is the first one. Amick was the tailback for the Helias football team this past fall. In and out and back in. Amick gets one of two at the line and back home the Owls ahead by six. Camille Davis to the forecourt. Off to Brant Fitzgerald, over to Leandra Davis. Davis, top of the circle, Abney. Abney, wing left side to Leandra Davis. Davis off to Abney. Abney, top of the circle. Elias in a man-to-man -man now. Here's Fitzgerald, off the telly. Shoots a foul line jumper over Pope. Switch. Harper is eating Pope alive. He's got 15 points here in the ball game. Still six minutes up to play in the third quarter. Here's Blanton, almost a steal. Off to Blanton from Ralston to Amick. Shoots a jumper out of the corner over Leandra Davis. No good. Rebound kept alive by Harper to Fitzgerald. Off to DeMille Davis to Abney. Abney spots for a long three. Swish! Abney from downtown. Nine. That's her biggest lead of the night. Amick to the forecourt. Off to Ralston. Down low, Eaton. Spins on Fitzgerald from eight. Good. 
Eaton with half a dozen. Fitzgerald did everything he could. Here comes Danil Davis. Back to Brandt. Off to Leandra Davis. He shoots a three out of the corner. That won't go. Rebound weak side Abney among the trees. Was knocked off balance. Had the ball stripped away. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. And the foul's going to be on Amick. That'll be his first. First team foul against Helias here in the second half. And Aaron Copeland, who played but did not score in the first half, will check in the game for Leandra Davis. Like last night, the Owls have a lot of supporters here. They are not sitting in our vicinity. That's probably why you can't hear them much when the Owls do something. Abney at the line, hits the first one. Well, Joe has really stepped up in this third place game. 17 points for Abney. So every point he gets adds to his career high total at Marshall High School. In and out, no good on the second one. And the rebound is kept alive by Harper, but it's off Telly out of bounds. And the Owls with their 10 point lead will now zone or rather press here in the backcourt. Blanton to Amick. Amick over the timeline, right hand the dribble, gives it up to Ralston. Over to Pope, baseline right. Pope holds it high off the Eaton. Eaton against Fitzgerald. Brant's got his work cut out for him. Here's Amick in the paint, swings against Abney, put it up left hand, no good. And a foul going to be called against the Owls. I think it's going to be against Abney. That'll be Joe's second. 5.04 left the play in this third quarter. The Owls lead by 10. It is going to be Abney on the foul. And that'll be Joe's first foul, rather. Amick will be at the line to shoot a couple. Amick with five points on the night. Eaton has six. The Owls have done a tremendous job of keeping those two fellows in check, at least to this point. Amick will get one more. It's a 44-35 game. Second one on the way, in and out, no good. Rebound in the paint, Eaton goes up against Harper, missed it! Gets his own rebound, has it blocked away from behind. And he'll go to the line to shoot a couple. That's two fouls against Telly Harper. And it's a nine-point Marshall lead. So Eaton will be at the line. First one by Jason. Good. For a big man, this fellow's got a real nice touch from the outside. Eaton was held to just six points last night by Kelly Thames and company of Jennings. Thames, of course, is headed for... Well, he'll be playing a lot of basketball right on this floor for Norm Stewart the next four years or three years, whatever it is. He'll be coming here next year after his high school career is over. Eaton hits them both. And here's Abney. Abney directing traffic with the left hand, goes in the corner to Harper. Harper wants the jumper. Now he wants to drive in the lane. Does so and shoots over Eaton, doesn't get the roll. Rebound by Pope. Pope gives it up to Amick to the full court Ralston. In the corner, Eaton. He'll shoot it from there, does so over Harper, hits it. Eaton's heating up. He's got 10 points, six in this quarter. That comes to Mill Davis for the Owl. Suddenly it's a five-point game again. Davis for Marshall against Blanton. Elias in a man-to-man. -man. Off to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald against Eaton. Over to Telly Harper. Harper against Pope to Leandra Davis. Davis squares up. Here's Abney into the paint. Gets it off to Demille Davis. Davis against Blanton. Elias has really picked up the defense. Here's Davis going down the lane. Finger roll good. Davis with a beautiful one-on-one -on -one move into the paint. Demille's got seven. The Owl lead is seven. Down low, a pass to Ralston who lays it up and in. Ralston's got nine in the game. It's a still a five-point game. Here's Daniel Davis. Almost a steal. It is stolen away by Blanton. Blanton, two-on-one. Bounce pass to Amick. Lay it up. Missed it. Amick just shot it way too hard off the glass. Back from the owl. Here's Abney. Double team. Off to Daniel Davis. Davis for Marshall has it. Wants to give it up. Does so to Abney between the two circles. Abney will drive on Amick. Wants to go inside. Now has nowhere to go with it. Tries to throw it off the Fitzgerald and lost it. Here's Eaton on the steal. Eaton goes baseline, back off the Pope. Cross court pass, Blanton for a three good. 
Well, the turnover leads to a Elias Buck. Here's Abney in a timeout call by Marshall. And the out lead, which was 10 moments ago, is only two now. 3.02 left to play in this third quarter. We'll take a break. Be right back. You're listening to your sports leader in mid-Missouri, KMMO. And Elias has come roaring back. The Owls led by 10. And Elias determined not to go away here. Blanton just hit a three-pointer. He's got 17 points in the game. He's got five threes. The Owls call the timeout. 3.02 left to play. It's the second timeout. Marshall's called here in this second half already. Harper will inbound for Marshall right in front of the out bench. Harper to Abney. Abney gives the ball to Demille Davis. Elias has been playing this man, man to man. It's really given the Crusaders, I think, some aggressiveness they didn't have earlier in the half. Here's Demille Davis out high. Off to Copeland against Eaton, who's in the game now. Here's Harper, shoots over Pope from outside, no good. Rebound Leandro Davis, that's going to be a foul over the back against Davis. And that'll be his first. And the team's sixth already in this second half. The Owls got themselves into foul trouble last night. They've got themselves into some team foul trouble here. And Brad Ewart's on the bench with four. Camille Davis is playing with three. There's a long lead pass in the Ralston against Harper. Goes past Harper, lays it up and in. He got Kelly off his feet and run Ralston. Put it up and in off the glass. We're tied at 46. Here's Demille Davis. Davis into the paint, shoots over Eaton, good. Davis stepping up for the Owls, puts Marshall back ahead. He's got nine in the game. It's 2.20 up to play in this third quarter. 48-46. Here's Blanton. Blanton to the forecourt. Blanton goes baseline, spins, gives it up to Eaton. In the lane, Jason left hand missed it. Gets his own rebound, good. He's got a dozen. We're tied at 48. Two minutes up to play in the third quarter. Abney around Amick. Goes inside. The ball is tipped. Taken out of there by Ralston. Ralston around Leandra Davis of the forecourt. Elias can take the lead. Ralston in the corner. Holds it up. Gives it back to Amick against Abney. Amick one dribble. Now top of the circle to Blanton. A minute 40 left to play in the third quarter. Blanton on the dribble against Demille Davis. Gives it up to Ralston. Around a screen. Goes in the paint. Shoots in 12. Good. Ralston's got 13, and Elias does retake the lead. 50 to 48. Demille Davis to the four court. Davis for the Owls as Elias steps up the defense. Abney holds it on the hip. Off to Leandra Davis. In the corner, right hand side to Mill Davis. Around a Copeland screen. Off to Harper. Kelly had the ball knocked away. Gets it back. Goes inside and the whistle. Foul going to be called as Harper drove to the bucket. And let's see who it's going to be on. Eaton will pick up the foul as Harper drove to the hoop. The Owls will have to take the ball out of bounds. That's only two team fouls against Elias, so they'll be able to gamble on defense here pretty much the rest of this ball game, at least until they get to the six foul limit. Six fouls before they go to the seven foul limit. And the Owls couldn't get the ball in. They're going to have to call a timeout, and they do so. Abney couldn't get the ball in and decided to call a timeout instead of taking a five count. 107 left to play in this third quarter. We'll take a timeout. Be right back. You're listening to your sports leader in mid-Missouri, KMMO. The Owls will have the ball when we resume play. Both teams still huddled up. It's timeouts so are a little bit longer here than what they normally are during the high school season. I've noticed that. The Owls will get it in. Marshall had a 10-point lead early in this third quarter. That thing has really evaporated. Here's Abney looking to get it in. Does so in the middle to Harper. Down low, back off to Abney. Abney will retreat the dribble to the outside to the middle Davis between the two circles. Davis directing traffic, gets it off to Harper against Pope. Off to Whitell Harris is in the ball game. Harris to DeMille Davis. Davis, top of the circle, Harper. Kelly steps up for a jumper and misses it. Rebound, tapped up, and Eaton gets the rebound. 
Eaton for Helias. Back off to Anik. 40 seconds up to play in the quarter. Anik into the paint. Backs it off to Blanton. To Eaton. Eaton wants to shoot that three. He drives, but he turns it over on the travel. That's only two turnovers against Helias in this third quarter. The Crusaders done a much better job of taking care of the basketball, at least to this point in this half, than they had done earlier. Jamil Davis for the Owls, walks it over the timeline. Marshall looks like wants to play for one. 30 seconds have to play in the half. Harper in the corner to Wydell Harris. Harris with it, top of the circle to Brant Fitzgerald. He backs it out to Demille Davis. Davis against Blanton, goes inside, throws it up. A scoop shot, no good. And the Owls got bailed out there. Demille had nowhere to go once he got up in the air, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. 16 seconds up the play, and that's three fouls on Jason Eaton. That could be a very big play before this game is over. He was going to come out of the ball game. Not a good sequence for the all-conference player. Eaton a turnover on one end and then a foul on the other. And DeMille Davis will go to the line and try and tie this thing up before we go to the fourth quarter. And the first one is good. Davis, an 88% free throw shooter, hits the first one. DeMille was big down the stretch in the quarterfinal win, hitting four free throws. Buried some big free throws in the last few seconds to secure the win over Benton in the sectional game. Mill will go to the line and he will be shooting. Davis on the second one. We're tied. Davis hits them both. He's got 11 points in the game. Jason Brock will check in. Leandra Davis comes back in. Emil Davis will sit down. He's got three fouls. He played the whole period with three. And here comes Blanton back for Helias. 12 seconds up to play in the quarter. We're tied at 50. Blanton off to Ralston. Almost had it stolen away. Off to Blanton. Five seconds up to play in the quarter. Shoots a jumper over Brock. It's no good. Rebound tipped up. Abney. And that'll be the end of the quarter. The Owls couldn't get off a shot from half court. They're tied at 50. A good quarter, though, for Helias. They were down by 10. Regained the lead momentarily, and then the Owls tied before the third quarter break. 50-50, our score. We'll be right back. We're listening to your sports leader in mid-Missouri, KMO. Match, we're tied at 50 before we go to this fourth quarter. The Owls won by a point in overtime at Helias about a month ago. That game, by the way, was played on the 16th of February. Brad Ewart will come in with his four fouls. Grant Fitzgerald played some good minutes defensively for the Owls and giving Ewart a chance to rest with those four fouls. Now the Owls have it to start this fourth quarter. Here's Harper. Elias stays with the man-to-man. -man. Leandro Davis down low to DeMille Davis, who had to get out of there among the land of the Giants. Davis around Ralston, puts it up good. Mill Davis looks like he's playing on a playground somewhere on a parking lot. The way sometimes he makes those moves around people. The Owls lead by two. Here's Blanton. Blanton out high to Eaton. Ewart's got him, and let's see how long it takes him to go to Eaton with Ewart having four fouls. Blanton shoots a three and missed it. Rebound by Leandra Davis. Davis pushes it up for Marshall. Between two players, almost lost it. Gives it up to DeMille Davis. Davis off to Abney, about 35 feet away from the bucket. Abney to Harper. Kelly around Pope, goes inside, throws it up. Too strong, no good. Rebound by Ewart, working hard. Put it up, no good, and a whistle. And a foul going to be called against Eaton, and that'll be his fourth. Brad Ewart at 6-1, going against the 6-9, Jason Eaton. And as we mentioned earlier in that when DeMille Davis was fouled with 20 seconds up to play in the third quarter, that might be a big play. Eaton fouled him on the drive. And it turns out to be a huge play as Eaton now has four fouls. Ewart at the line to shoot two. Brad can't get the first one to go. He'll get one more. Seven minutes exactly left to play in this fourth quarter. Ewart at the line. Hits the second one. Brad's got three points. The Owls lead by as many. And Eaton will stay in the ball game. So Eaton and Ewart both playing with four fouls and guarding each other. There's Blanton to the forecourt. Off to Ralston against Leandra Davis. To Amick who flashes baseline into the paint. Triple team and a foul call. Well, Amick 
the 6'3 senior. He wants it. He can play inside. He can go from the outside. The Owls have pretty much choked him off today, though. He's got six points. Abney picks up the foul. That's Joe's second. And that puts Marshall over the limit. Elias still has two fouls to give. So as we mentioned earlier, Elias can gamble a little bit on defense if they choose to. Amick hits the first one. It's a two-point game. They'll get one more. Second one on the way. In the air. Rolls around. Good. Amick's got eight points. Back on the aisle. Here's Abney to the forecourt against Amick. Abney with 17 on the night. Here's Harper with it. Harper against Pope. Off to DeMille Davis. Davis out high against Blanton. It's a one-point game with 6.30 remaining in the fourth quarter. Here's Ewart out high against Eaton. Ewart to Leandra Davis. Goes inside. He traveled. Owls turn the ball over. That's their eighth turnover of the game, fourth of this half. And now Helias can regain the lead. Amick gives it up to Ralston. Ralston will walk it across the timeline with the left-hand dribble. Wing left side pass to Amick against Abney. Amick in the corner to Blanton. Down low, Eaton spins on Yurt, goes into the paint, off the Pope. Pope down inside to Amick. He put it up, lost it, and here's Yurt with it. Off to Abney. Abney to the forecourt. Abney with a three-point strike to Leandra Davis, top of the circle. He couldn't get it to go. Rebound comes out to Blanton. Well, the Owls had an open three, but couldn't get it to go, and back comes Amick with it. Amick to the forecourt. Amick to the three-point line. Lob down low. Eaton turns over. Ewart off the glass. Good. Eaton's got 14. Back comes Abney in a hurry. Abney to the paint. The Harper. Kelly goes inside. Put it up. Good. Harper's got 17. The Owls regain the lead. Back and forth they go. 55-54. 5.28 left. Amick with the basketball. He pounds the ball into the floor with the right hand coming across the timeline. Amick to Eaton at the high post. Eaton spins off the Ralston. Shoots a three out of the corner. Switch. Ralston's got 16. 10 in this half. Abney against Amick. Off to DeMille Davis. Back to Abney. 35 feet away from the bucket. Abney looks inside, gets a screen from Ewart, shoots a three, no good. And it will be Elias basketball. Now's down by a deuce. Aaron Copeland back in the ball game. Elias has been going with the starting five the whole second half. The Owls have substituted somewhat. Here's Blanton off to Amick. In the corner, Pope against Harper. Top of the circle, Ralston with it. Down low, Eaton couldn't handle the pass. And back comes Abney on the steal. Abney will drive on Blanton into the paint. Put it up right hand, no good. Rebound, Harper, that won't go. Kelly gets it back, shoots over Pope. No good, a whistle, a foul going to be called on Pope. He stepped into Telly, who was trying to fall away for that shot. And Harper will go to the line to shoot a couple. And Pope picks up foul number three. Five team fouls against Elias. Four thirty-four left to play in this fourth quarter. Harper at the line, hits the first one. Kelly with 18. Harper with one more, it's short, rebound taken out of there by Ralston. And so the Owls still have a one-point deficit looking at, looking at them in the face. And here's Blanton with it. Blanton against Emil Davis. In the corner to Ralston, guarded by Leandra Davis is back in the game, and Copeland is out. Out high with it is Amick against Abney. Amick into the paint area, back off to Blanton. Coming up on four minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. Here's Amick with it. Looks inside of Eaton, swings on Ewart, put it up, good. Eaton gets the bucket, back on the aisles. Here's Abney out high, wants to go inside on Amick. Kills a dribble, bounce pass inside to Harper, goes around Pope, lay it up, missed it, missed it, rebound by Eaton. And Eaton is fouled in the backcourt. 
by Demille Davis, and the Owls showing some frustration after that miss on the inside. It'll be one and one time for Elias with a three-point lead, and Eaton will be at the line. And for Harper, that's foul number three. All of them in this half. Jason Eaton, 6'9", senior, averaging 15 points a game. He's got 16, two of two from the line in the ball game. One and one, he missed it. Rebound by Harper, foul gonna be called on Amick. That'll be 16 fouls against Halaya, so one more, they'll be over the limit. And the Owls catch a break. Eaton is a very good free throw shooter for a big man. Marshall can tie it here with a three or get back within one with a bucket. Mill Davis over the timeline for the Owls against Brad Hewitt. Off to Abney. Abney working to trying to get loose for a three-pointer. Here's Leandra Davis off to DeMille Davis. Davis to Abney. Abney spins on Amick, goes inside. He hooked him, put it up, no good. Foul going to be called against Amick. That's going to be his third, and Abney will be at the line to shoot two. Uh, Amick thought that Abney hooked him going around in the lane, but ball is called. 3.31 and left to play in this fourth quarter. Abney at the line, misses the first one. Joe goes two of four from the strike. Three-point ball game. Owls led by 10 early in the third quarter, but that slipped away in a hurry. Second free throw won't go. Rebound. Harper battles for it. Kelly gets it. Put it up. Good. Harper gets the stick back off the Abney miss. It's a one-point game. Here's Amick with the basketball. 3-18 left to play. This third-place 3A game from the Hearn Center in Columbia. High post to Eaton, back to Amick who drives, goes inside, put it up, missed it. Rebound though, Amick was able to tip it back out to Ralston. Down low to Pope, to Amick, goes baseline, now out high to Blanton. Blanton with it, to Pope, couldn't handle the pass, and Leandra Davis has it back. Turnover, and the Owls get it. Here's Davis, drives the lane, off to Harper, Kelly laid up, right hand, no good. Gets his own rebound, off the bucket, and a foul's call against Pope. by Harper. Tully with those, that jumping ability, but not just jumping ability, but quickness off the floor. Was able to tap it back in and Pope got him on the way down. Timeout called by Elias, 2.47 left. Marshall retakes the lead and Harper will be at the line when we come back. You're listening to your sports leader in mid-Missouri, KMMO. Kelly Harper is at the line to try and make it a three-point play for the Owls. Harper got a stick back moments ago and then a great play inside. We get a bucket and at the line, good. Kelly has 25 on the night. Needs all scores. And he's having some, some swan song here in Columbia this, after, this evening. Here's Ralston with it, a two-point game. Here's Pope playing with four fouls. Down low the pass to Eaton. Shoots over Ewart, can't get it to go. Rebound Harper out to Abner. To DeMille Davis, both teams over the limit. Davis over the timeline for the out. Davis working between two men and a whistle. And a foul gonna be called against Elias. Elias came out on the defense. The Owls pulled the ball out, but I'm not sure that's what they want to do this early. Blanton picks up the foul. DeMille Davis, I think, will be at the line. He will be at the line. Davis at the stripe. The Owls lead by a deuce. Kelly Harper with five straight points to give Marshall the lead. The Owls are on a 5-0 run after it looked like Elias might pull away late in the game here. Camille Davis hits the free throw. He'll get the bonus. 
221 left, and eternity left to play in this game. And the second, second one. one rolls around, no good. Rebound by Eaton. Well, the Mill Davis is human after all. He missed a free throw finally. Still a three-point game. Here's Blanton with it. Blanton out high against the Mill Davis. Blows by the Mill. Baseline left to Ralston for a three. Good. He's got 19 points. Here's Daniel Davis. We're tied again at 62. To Harper. Harper into the paint against two men. Shoots over Amick and a whistle. We're going to say he traveled. Good defense by Amick. Nine turnovers against the Owls. Now Helias can take the lead. A minute 50 left to play in the game. Blanton in the backcourt. Boy, Jason Rawson just drained that three out of the corner to tie this game up. And now we're going to have a blocking foul on Jason Eaton. He tried to pick off the middle. Davis at midcourt. And an illegal pick, and that'll be his fifth, and he's out of the game. Wow. What a big call that is. Eaton will fall out of the ball game with 16 points. And that'll send Emil Davis back to the foul line. Davis, three of four from the stripe. And Marshall fans across the way wave goodbye to the 6'9 senior, Jason Eaton. That's a rather ignominious way to finish your high school career. But it's been a great career for Jason Eaton. Davis at the line. First free throw rolls around, falls through. It's tough, man. You're a high school kid coming in here playing in front of this kind of a crowd. And there aren't too many empty seats here. And sitting at that line, the minute 44 left of the game on the line. Camille hits them both. Five of six on the stripe. The owl lead again is two. Gonna go right down to the nub in this one. Here's Blanton out high. Off to Ralston in the corner. Ralston has the ball stripped away, but they're gonna call foul on Leandro Davis. Davis picks up foul number two. That's rather academic now. The fact is, the Owls are over the limit, and that'll send Ralston back to the line for a one and one. And now Helias can tie the game up at the strike. A minute 35 left. Ralston just buried a three-pointer to give Elias a tie. Here's the free throw. Good. Ralston has 20 points on the night. Three of five from the line. He'll get the bonus. Junior guard hits them both. 21 points for Ralston. We're tied at 64. Leandra Davis off to Demil Davis against Plant. Elias in a man-to-man. Brown is in the ball game for Eaton, who fouled out. Here's Harper back off to Abney. Abney in three-point country. Spins a minute 15 left to play in this fourth quarter. Here's Abney again out high. Abney off to Demil Davis between the two circles near the timeline. Off to Harper. Here's Abney. The Owls have no inclination, it looks like, here to go to the bucket. Unless Elias gives them a real easy one. Abney, I would imagine the Owls are going to clear a side. Abney shoots over him. It's quite a tough shot. Rebound by Leandra Davis, and they're going to call him on a push off. Boy, look pretty clean from up here. And Ralston roars back down to the foul line for Elias. That's three fouls against Leandra Davis, and Ralston will go to the line. He's got a here. 52 seconds left to play in the game. We're tied at 64. The officials are talking things over. They're trying to decide if Ralston's the player who should be taking the shot. The Owls are trying to tell him that it should be Lowney. The officials aren't going to buy it. Ralston's free throw. Good. Elias takes the lead. Now it's Elias on a 4 0 run. 65 64. The six foot junior, Jason Ralston, having a big night. Second one, good. 
Ralston hits them both. He's got 23. Back on the Owls with 48 seconds left. Danielle Davis with the basketball out high. Off to Adney in front of the Owl bench. Let's see if they go down inside to Harper. Leandra Davis to Danielle Davis. He swings on Blanton. Now goes back outside. Danielle Davis with it. Off to Adney. Adney into Harper. Telly swings inside. Put it up. Play. And the foul's going to be on Chris Amick. That's his fourth. Coach Bill Blanton for Elias just turns his back. He can't believe it. Elias calls a timeout. And we'll be right back. You're listening to your sports leader in mid Missouri, KMO. Harper. We went around Hope. Amy came in late. Kelly was off balance, threw it in off the window. Fell flat on his back on the court. The ball went down and the foul was called and the basket counts. We're tied at 66. Six is a wild here at the Hearn Center. We're tied at 66. 26.6 seconds up to play in the fourth quarter. Harper will be at the line to try and give the Owls a one-point lead. Both teams over the limit. Jason Eaton has fouled out of this game for Elias. Harper at the strike. It's in the air. He missed it. Rebound by Copeland. We have a tied-up ball. And it will be Elias with a possession error. Well, Copeland got the rebound. But then he was tied up. Amick will inbound. So Harper couldn't get the free throw to go down. And now Elias may have the last possession. Here's Blanton with it. Over the timeline. Just inside 20 seconds. Off the Ralston. 16 seconds with it. Who's going to take the shot for Elias? We're down to 12 and a timeout call by Elias. 11 seconds up to play in the game. Athletics are sponsored by our high schools because they teach important lessons to our young people. High school athletes, be they boys or girls, are taught to respect others, their teammates, opponents, coaches, and officials, whether their games are being won or lost. Athletes also learn self-control and to appreciate athletic values for their participation in high school sports. And these are only a few of the lifelong lessons for our young people learning through high school athletics. The message is brought to you by the Missouri State High School Activities Association and your sports leader in mid-Missouri KMO. Well, Elias with 11 seconds left. We pretty much assume it's either going to be Ralston or Amick. It's probably going to take the shot, and then Pope and others will be crashing the boards. But remember, both teams are over the limit, so any kind of a foul sends someone to the foul line. after making that remarkable shot missed the free throw it was a tied up ball the possession arrow was going towards Elias they brought it in killed about 10 seconds then called a timeout Amick will trigger it in right in front of the Elias bench gets it into the backcourt to Blanton 10 seconds up to play in the game Blanton creates now gives it up to Ralston against Copeland Ralston they're trying to get a screen he pulls up, shoots an off-balance foul line jumper, no good. Rebound Harper, he got overtime. Good defense by the Owls. And quite frankly, Elias probably should have been called for a moving pick two or three times on that possession, but it wasn't called. The Owls get a break as the shot was no good. And we're tied at 66. They'll put three minutes on the clock. We're not done yet. We'll be right back. You're listening to your sports leader in mid-Missouri, KMMO. Time here in the postseason, the 3A third place game. This might wind up being the best game here all day. Didn't have an opportunity to see the other games. I'm sure they've all been rather entertaining. Harper easily wins the tip for the Owls back to Abner. 
Everything still applies. The Owls are, and both teams are over the limit. Adam with it out high against Emick. Emick playing with four fouls. You are playing with four for the Owls. Here's Piper. Skies for a jumper. No good. Rebound weak side by Ewart. Back off to Abney. Abney goes inside of Emick to Ewart. And this time they're going to call Abney on the offensive foul on a hook. Well, Elias kept complaining to the officials about that, and they finally got that call. Abney picks up his third foul. That's a non-shooting foul. And Blanton will bring it up for Elias. They're tied at 66. 2.40 left to play in the overtime period. Here's Lonnie. Almost Walker it against Ewart. Off to Blanton. Blanton to Ralston. Ralston over to Amick. Amick against this man-to-man. -man. Swings inside. Now kicks it back out to Blanton. Off to Lonnie. Over to Ralston. Ralston against Abney. Jason Eaton, if you just joined us, the 6'9 senior for Elias fouled out earlier in the ball game. Blanton for a three-pointer. He hits it. Blanton's got six threes in the game. He's got 20 points. Emil Davis off to Abney with two minutes left to play in the overtime. Here's Leandra Davis. To Abney to Demille Davis. 155 left to play in the game. Here's Leandra Davis out high. Davis to Demille Davis. The Owls do a lot of standing around right now with their offense. Here's Leandra Davis off to Abney. Abney looks inside for Harper, who's covered by Pope. Here's Demille Davis. Davis against Blanton to Abney. Abney wanted to shoot the three. Amick won't let him. Here's Leandra Davis. Around a screen. Hits the three. He buries it. And a foul going to be called on Emmett. And he's out of the ball game. That'll be five on Chris Emmett. And Davis, his three-pointer, counts. And Leandra will go to the line. That's the first points he has scored in the second half. Amick is pleading his case with the official. And he gets one last word in, and that's it. Leandra Davis will try and get the Owls a free throw. And the Owls have not, well, they've shot free throws rather well down the stretch, but had they been shooting them has as well as they had been previously, this game would already be in their pocket. Davis at the line. New player in the ball game is Snodgrass, who played briefly in the first half, didn't score. Davis at the line, couldn't get it to go. Rebound by Abney. Off balance jumper by Joe is no good. Rebound taken out of there by Pope. Dowles with an off balance shot there. Back comes Snodgrass into the baseline area. Back off to Ralston for a three. Good. Ralston left wide open to the top of the circle, hits the three. And the Owls call a timeout with 105 left to play in this overtime. 72 69. The Owls trail by three. The three point shooting of Jason Ralston. And Eddie Blanton has been the difference in this ball game. Joe Pope at 6'8 has not scored in the game for Elias. Eaton has fouled out with 16 points. And Amick fouls out with eight. But it's the guard play of Blanton and Ralston, which is just, well, stab the owls in the heart to this point. 72-69 the score. A minute five left to play in the ball game, or at least in this first overtime. 3A girls final. We'll be coming up after this one between Ray Peck and Republic. And then the 3A boys final will be played between Jennings and St. Francis Borgia at about 9.45. Brad York will trigger it in for the Owls. Looks to get it in, does so to Harper. Telly in the corner, lobs it back outside to Demille Davis. Let's see if the Owls try and get a three-pointer here, or they just go for the two. Abney in the corner, doesn't shoot the three against Snodgrass, wants to turn on him. Abney back out high to Demille Davis. 48 seconds up to play in the ballgame. 
are in the overtime. Davis to Harper. Kelly looks at a three. Skies missed it. Rebound by Ewart. Back out to the middle. Davis. Big rebound by Brad Ewart. Chris Abney shoots a jumper. That's good, but it's not a three. 31 seconds left to play in the game. Elias by one. Lowney in the backcourt to Blanton. Up to Ralston at midcourt. Ralston back off to Blanton. 20 seconds left. The Owls got to foul somebody. There's Ralston to Blanton, and a foul going to be called. And it'll be a one and one, and Blanton will go to the line with 14 seconds left. And Demille Davis is fouled out. Not the guy who wins the foul. Demille Davis picks up foul number four. And now we say just four on him. 14 seconds left to play in this ball game. And at the free throw line will be Eddie Blanton, who has yet to shoot a free throw in the game. Blanton went down like he was shot after that foul by Davis trying to get the intentional foul. And when he found out it wasn't going to be intentional, he got right back up in a hurry to shoot the free throws, but the Owls call a timeout. 14 seconds up to play in the game. We'll take a quick time out and be right back. You're listening to your sports leader in mid-Missouri, KMMO. In eight seconds on the clock here in overtime. You're listening to KMMO, AM and FM Marshall. Pat Duncan with you from the Hearn Center in Columbia. Quite a finale for these two teams, these two North Central Missouri Conference rivals. Ralston, or rather Blanton, will be at the line for a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. If he hits them both, the Owls need a three to tie it. If he hits one, the Owls, can, the Owls can tie and send it an OT or win it with a three. If he doesn't hit any, the Owls can win it. If they get the rebound. It's up. Good. Well, Bladden has been lights out here in this ball game. He's got 21 points. He'll get the bonus. on the way, it's no good. Rebound by Harper. You would save it though, but the Pope was fouled from behind by Keller. Pope will go to the line for, I believe, two shots. That'll be Telly's fourth foul. Well, the Owls got what they wanted. Lanton missed the second one, but Ewart was able to save it, but did so right into the hands of Pope, who was going to go in for a layup, and Harper had to folly. Pope at the line to shoot two. He has got to score in the game. Missed it. Oh, it was a one-and-one -one try. Here's Camille Davis. Eight seconds. Davis goes baseline. Inside. With three seconds left in the game. Davis went baseline, tried to go across the lane to the cutter. And the ball went out of bounds, and Helias gets it back with three seconds left. And Leandra Davis apparently hurt his left shoulder and is lying on the floor in front of the out bench. I believe it's going to be Helias basketball. I don't think it hit anybody on the way by. And Davis. The middle went down there among the. Well, they're looking at the left ankle of Leandra Davis right now. And we're going to take a quick break and be right back. Marshall down by two with 3.3 seconds left. And I believe it will be the Crusaders ball when we come back. You're listening to your sports leader in mid-Missouri, KMMO, for first led to believe. Did not see what happened to Leandra. Chances are he may have turned to try and retrieve that errant pass from DeMille Davis. And when he did so, went down in a heap in front of the Owl bench in the far right corner. It will be the Crusaders basketball and barring some kind of a miracle. Elias is going to walk out of here with a third place trophy. Well, apparently that was a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for Pope who missed it. 
Owls got the rebound. Davis drove to the hoop under the basket, baseline left, and was trying to hit someone from across the lane. The Owls had two players together. Ball missed connections altogether. And Leandra Davis apparently tried to twist or turn to retrieve the loose ball. And when he did so, the left ankle or knee just went out. And they are attending to him. The Owl trainer, Tom Sandwich, is down there. But I'm sure some of the staff here on hand is also attending to him. Well, three seconds left to play in the ball game. Three seconds left to play in the season, likely, for both these teams. Has been uh, suspended here for a moment while they're working on it. Up, the Owls were hoping that the officials were going to give the ball back to them. A couple of security guards. But that's not going to be the case. In the meantime, they're going to try and help Leandra Davis. And they'll get Leandra to his feet. And he's not putting any weight on it. He'll be back on the bench to watch the last three seconds of this game. So Leandra Davis ends a brilliant sophomore season. He'll be back for two more big years on this basketball team. And he's going to be one of the kids in the conference the next two years. He was honorable mention this year along with Bill and Aaron. He'll be one of the kids in the next two years in the Raw Conference. You can almost bank on it. What's the, uh, well, apparently the Owls were out of timeouts and had to call one because of Leandra Davis on the floor. I believe that's what it was. I, we don't know yet. I didn't hear anything from the official score. Well, I guess it wasn't a technical foul. Pope missed a free throw, so I don't know what, what was going on. Unless it was a two-shot foul to begin with, which is what it may have been. And the Owls intercept. Anyway, three seconds left to play. There's a throw-in. Ewart has the ball. He stole it. Gets it up to Neil Davis. He throws it up off the glass. No good. And that ends the ball game. Well, the Owls got a steal, but they had no time to get anything off of any substance. And Helias comes out of here and wins third place and defeats the Owls 73 to 71. between these two teams here this evening. But Helias gets it done in overtime. They were tied at 66 at regulation. And these two North Central Missouri Conference rivals went right down the last shot. Hewitt was able to steal the pass, which was lobbed to the forecourt. He got it to DeMille Davis, but DeMille just, all he had time to do was spin about 35 feet away from the bucket and throw one up and hit the side of the glass, and that was all she wrote. And the Owls will go back to Marshall 0-2 in this show-me showdown, but nothing to be ashamed of. Marshall finishes 22-9. Elias finishes their season at 24 and 7, and they'll bring home the third place trophy from this 3A tournament here in Columbia. We're going to have the award ceremony here in just a few moments, then we'll take our break and give you a rundown of this ball game. The Owls will be honored first. As they stand to my left, and then Helias will receive their third place trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, let's congratulate the Marshall Owls on their fine season. The Owls will come to midcourt and get their medals and their fourth place trophy. Certainly nothing to be ashamed of, but if you're a competitor and you've been in this situation before, it takes a while to absorb the loss and absorb the end of your high school season, your high school career for that matter, for some of these fellows, a lot of them. The 
the Owls didn't come out here and leave it in the locker room. They gave it all they had and credit Jeff City Elias. They came from behind. They were down 10 points in the third quarter. They could have put their tail between their legs, but they didn't do it. They came back, took the lead in the same quarter. The Owls tied it at 50 at the end of three. It was tied at 66 at the end of regulation. Take anyone you want. the scrum house. And Marshall Jason just couldn't get it done at the end, despite a miraculous ball game by Charlie Harper, who had 27 points on the night. We'll take a break and be right back. You're listening to your sports leader on Missouri, KMMO. Marshall group. First time a team from the Marshall Isles has gone to the final four in over 40 years. The Isles were a team looking like they were going to go nowhere after being drilled over at Hannibal early in February, 76 to 55. And a really a, abysmal performance by the Isles in that ball game, but they came back, won at Sedalia, won at Elias, played a very good game, but lost at Mexico, where nobody wins but Mexico. And then Breeze through the district, won at St. Joe against Benton, got over that hump, went on the road at the Municipal Auditorium and defeated a very good Ruskin team, 65, or rather 67 to 62. And then came to Columbia and ran into a buzzsaw and Nathan Phillip last night who poured in 41 points and a big performance in the second half by Jason Ralston for Elias. Leaves the Owls with a fourth place finish here at the Hearn Center in Columbia. Let's run down the scoring in this ball game for you and hopefully we'll get a chance to talk to Coach Kevin Hart. It may be pretty tough to for him to get up here with everything going on with the ball club and everything. And chances are we'll just talk to Coach Hart and we'll hear from him on our sports cast tomorrow morning. Let's check out the scoring in the ball game for the Elias Crusaders. Jason Ralston, we mentioned, had 26 points, 20 in the second half. He was big down the stretch. He had four three-pointers, and he also hit some big free throws down the line. Eddie Blanton had 21 on the night. And bad news is for the NCMC, both those kids are going to be back next year for a senior season. And Blanton will be an all-conference player coming back. He had 21 in the game, six three-pointers, and he had 11 points in the first quarter, which got Elias back in the game when the Owls were up early by as many as eight points. Chris Amick with eight points on the night. Jason Eaton fouled out early in the, or rather midway through the fourth quarter with 16 points. Joe Pope played, did not score. Mark Shell played, didn't score. Chad Lonnie had two, and Scott Snodgrass played, but did not score. Elias, 13 of 21 from the foul line, 13 turnovers against the Crusaders in the ball game. For the Owls, Telly Harper says goodbye to his varsity basketball career, playing only one semester out of four.
semester of eligibility. Of course, didn't play last year because of that knee injury. Missed the first semester this year and then played quite some, some pretty good accomplishments despite this one semester of play. Jelly finished an all-conference performer. Chances are he'll be all-district whenever that comes out. And who knows, maybe even some state honors. He had, a, he had some big games here at this uh, 3A Final Four. Tell you what, 27 points on the night. He was sensational. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he had about 20 rebounds on the night as well. Joe Abney with 19, including three threes. Mill Davis had 16 on the night. Brad Ewart with three. Leandra Davis, eight. Leandra turned an ankle or twisted one or sprained it or did something to it late in this ball game and could not finish with about eight seconds left to play. He was out of the game with that injury. He finishes with eight points, but he's got two seasons to go. Wydell Harris, Aaron Copeland, Jason Brock, Grant Fitzgerald, and Jimmy Hoffman all played in the game as did Jeremy Bluehorst but did not score. The Owls were 14 of 21 from the foul line. Marshall had nine turnovers unofficially. In the ball game, Elias wins it 73 to 71. And we'll take a break and be right back. We're listening to your sports leader in mid-Missouri, King of the Mo. For the final between Ray Peck and Republic getting ready to get underway here in a few moments. And then we'll have the 3A boys final which will be Jennings taking on St. Francis Borgia. I can't imagine anybody beating that St. Francis Borgia team tonight, but who knows? I know nobody could have beat them last night, I can tell you that. The Owls lose this third place game, 73 to 71. And as you can imagine here, we've got a packed house here at the Hearn Center, and we're up about three levels from where the coaches and the players are. And, and we won't get a chance to talk to Coach Kevin Hart, but we can tell you that we have enjoyed the broadcasting of the games to you out there this season, and we've had a lot of fun doing it. It's been uh, a grind at times, but uh, something that's very pleasurable to go through. You get a chance to meet a lot of people, watch a lot of great kids, and to get a chance to watch it all the way from 1A to 4A, and it's been a very, uh, well, very pleasant experience, and we've enjoyed bringing the games to you this season on Chain the Mo, Marshall Owls, all the area teams that we cover. Uh, it's unfortunate uh, a few more teams couldn't get here, but uh, that's the way the ball bounces, as they say. And the Owls did come out of here with a fourth place finish and a wonderful season. They wind it up at 22 and 9, and Elias, they go at 24 and 7. And the Owls will say goodbye to Joe Abney, the school's all time scoring leader. Bobby Darn, here is Coach Kevin Hart coming up to see us, so we're going to get him hooked up here, take a real quick break, and then we'll be right back and talk to Coach Hart. He must have flew up here. We'll take a break. You're listening to your sports leader in mid-Missouri, KMMO. The Hearn Center, I didn't think we'd get a chance to talk to Coach Hart, but we are going to get a chance. Coach Hart was able to get up here, and uh, Kevin, uh, you know, oftentimes you get here, uh, you play your first game, and if you lose, it's really tough to get back up 24 hours later and, and play another ball game. But your kids came out, and I thought played awful hard, and uh, and Elias just got the got the game winner at the end. Well, Pat, I really don't know what it is like oftentimes because I've never been in this situation before, but I know in that game today, being able to play for the possibility of being the third best state in the state of Missouri, we played our hearts out. that we belong here tonight. I can't be any prouder of the basketball team. I, hope, I know Marshall feels the same way because all we want is for the effort to be there and go all out and play, play the way you're capable of playing. And it was definitely a very good basketball game tonight between the two real big rivals in the North Central Missouri Conference. And the winner lose, unfortunately, and on the losing end. Uh, I'm as happy as can be. Those are the type of kids that I have the opportunity to coach. 
Coach, I know you were disappointed last night uh, the way the game turned out and the way Borgia just shot the ball over the place. But the kids came out, and what I meant before was that, you know, oftentimes the team can come in here and and uh, kind of figure, well, heck, you know, there's a big letdown. But that didn't happen tonight. Uh, I never saw some of the kids play any harder. And, and I thought you did a great job on the inside. Jason Eaton and then Pope and even Amick were, were never really a factor in the ball game. And uh, the interior play by your kids, who, of course, are smaller, did a great job on those three young kids. Well, we were going against 6'9", 6'9", 6'2", 6'2". And in the past games, we kind of crushed them, and they would throw over the top, and that was kind of hard to stop. So we let them catch it in the box and uh, make, make them do the turnaround jumpers in their feet. Um, they were falling away from the basket. That way, if they did miss, they didn't have the opportunity to get the rebound. And Bradley Ewart, you know, as far as not getting his name in the paper, uh, like some of the other guys with all the points, he's, he's just done a super job all season long for us. And uh, Telly just came and got better and better and better inside. Coke came off the bench. He had a bad wrist tonight and just played his heart out. And the, the guys out front, Bill uh, and Joe and, and uh, um, Leandra just did a wonderful job, and, and you know that goes for everybody on the team. We said in the assembly the other night, we're not going down here for us. We're going for Marshall, and that's what we did tonight. We, we represented Marshall in a fine fashion, and uh, these guys that come off the bench like Hockaday and, and Hoffman, and, and also uh, uh, Grant Fitzgerald came in and really did a super job for us. And, uh, we weren't able to get the pups in the game like I wish that uh, I should have, like uh, uh, Lance Burrowhouse and uh, Jeremy Fillmore's third day of college. Yeah, they're going to be, those two youngsters are going to play a lot of basketball next year or two, uh, that's for sure. And, uh, Coach, uh, I, you know, I know you don't like to talk about individual players, but you're going to lose three brilliant players into Middle Davis, Joe Abney, and Telly Harper. And uh, I thought Telly saved his best game for his last tonight. Well, you know, started against your kids play. I don't think I've ever seen a collection of uh, young young players as uh, as I've seen on this ball team this year who can do as many things as they can do. And uh, it's it's just been a great joy to watch. And quite frankly, it's been a grind at times, but I'm going to miss watching your kids play. And I think a lot of other people are too. Understand that? It's it's a madhouse it's here. Just, you know, every, everybody, uh, everybody, Stephanie Cup, everybody together, uh, along with Eric Dusenberg. Eric, you know, as far as uh, just a great part of our basketball team, they a big, big, big help. Thank you for uh, supporting me and, my, and our basketball team. And, uh, uh, we're looking forward to getting back on the regular schedule. It's been, it's been a super season, and uh, you know, there's going to be some honors for some guys coming up. And,
forward to all districts and all states to see how that goes. And, and definitely, we, we're one of the top four teams in the state of Missouri, and we're very proud about that. Coach, one more thing, Lecture. I know it's hard to think about next year and what might be coming back and this and that, but you know, a lot of people are going to be thinking the same thing they were thinking this year that you've got. You won't, you'll have probably one starter back in Leandra Davis, and then he had to go with uh, a lot of younger kids, a lot of kids who played a lot of JV, but no varsity ball. Well, you know, that's, that's part of the challenge. And, uh, we've got a lot of good kids coming up. We've got a lot of young kids coming up, so we'll basically have them for a couple of years. We've got some better be seniors. I know that will do a good job for us, but every year's a new challenge, and I look forward to it, Matt. Coach, it's been a great year, and thanks a lot for coming up here. I didn't think you were going to make it. I was just ready to take it back to the station, but uh, I'll be darned. You jumped up here, and I really appreciate it. And we'll, uh, we'll catch you next week sometime, talk some more about some of these state honors might come through for some of these kids. Okay, Pat, thank you very much. Coach Kevin Hart, our guest, and the Owls lose it tonight, but a winning season. Fourth place finish for the Owls, 73-71. Elias wins the game in overtime. And the Owls will truck on back to Marshall and pick it up next year and see what happens. The Owls will only have one starter, Leandra Davis, coming back. And it will be a very young basketball team next season. But as you look at some of the makeup of some of the JV players and Jeremy Bloomhorse and Lance Grothaus and some of the other guys, it'll be a team that'll be short on height again, but not short on... Uh, well, not short on the ability to get some things done and be very competitive, and who knows, maybe another trip. No one thought it would happen this year, and uh, even, the, even the people closest to this basketball team never thought it would happen. Well, we've said our thank yous to a lot of people. I want to continue that with the thank yous to our uh, sponsors, of course, and also thanks to uh, all the administrators, school-wise, what have you, that we were able to uh, invade various gymnasiums throughout the uh, central, north, and western part of the listening area uh, the past four months. Marshall Law Basketball tonight brought to you by Bodeker Tiling and Ditching in Malta Bend, Alma Bank of Concordia, Concordia and Alma, Midwest Truck and Tractor Sales in Concordia, Concordia Farmers Mutual Insurance, Concordia Bank, West Lang Courier, American Family Insurance Agent in Concordia, Golden Oaks Retirement Home in Marshall, DeKalb, Eilig Myers Furniture, Mid-Missouri Cellular, Meyer Motors, Concordia, Fletcher Green of Marshall, Malta Bend and Blackburn, Boltman's Bank of Marshall, Shelter Insurance, Brad Pistol, your agent in Marshall, Gibson in Pharmacy, Sturhan Jewelers, Viking Athletic Goods, Godfather's Pizza, Roberts Murray Motors, Marshall Service Company, Ireland's Service in Marshall, Easy Green Professional Turf Management, Lee Studio, Subway, Ellsworth and Associates in Marshall, Porky's Restaurant, Mercantile Bank, Red Cross, and Beerman Heating and Cooling. Again, the Owls lose his third place 3A game by a score of 73 to 71 in overtime to Hawaii. They wind up the season 22 and 9. It's been a great Great ride and congratulations to the Marshall Owls and we are had a lot of fun this season and for everyone involved we had to say thanks to everyone individually tonight we'd be here until the next year's final four but for everyone involved who made these broadcasts possible thank you so much and for our engineer this evening Kelly Nittmeyer and for Jim Dooley I'm Pat Durkin saying so long